Morning, everybody. This is Jeff Ali, and you are watching Exo Boas. You can follow my page. I'm actually on Instagram. I'm on Twitter, and I'm also on YouTube. And uh, you can follow through Exo Boas, X O B O A S. On YouTube, it's Exo Boas as well, but it might be also Exo Sticks. But you'll see it on the link below. So. What I want to talk about today is going to be in regards to a bow constrictor when they're shedding. Sometimes their tail or a certain area in their body, the skin doesn't come off. It's really, really hard to get it off. Sometimes you may be able to go ahead and just put some, you know, water on it or anything like that. But today I wanted to try something a little different. I'm going to try to use some olive oil. And we're going to see if it works, you know. It's just on the tail of the boa, so I'm going to try to help it get out of its skin. So let me get the bowler now. Here is a possible super hypo Aztec, 66% Parahead, 66% Anery that I produced in 2018. This guy is really, he's growing fast. But the cool thing about him is his pattern. It's like, I really love his pattern. And man, he's definitely gonna make some pretty babies. If I didn't have a lot of males, I would definitely keep them because this pattern is just insane. Look at his tail. But anyway, let's go ahead and see how his tail didn't come out with his full shed. That's bothering me, so we got to fix that. Because look at all this beauty. Just looking just extremely beautiful with being covered up with this. Look at that. We got to get that off. So I'm just going to take a piece of this napkin and put some oil on it. Oh yeah, and sometimes people are going to comment, so I might as well just say it now. My hand, I was born like this as a baby. That's how I came out. So that will answer the question for anybody that's probably like, what happened to his hand? But anyway, we're going to put some oil on this, and I'm going to go ahead and dab it on his tail and kind of like wrap the tail around with it. Okay, let's do it. He's trying to get away. But I need you to let me moisten this skin up. Yes, this guy is also for sale. He's also for sale, so that's a good thing. But we got to take care of this first. He's very healthy, very, eats all his meals. He's climbing up me. He's climbing on top, he's going up. So what the parahead means, just in case you don't know, when his head for parahead is he's either a sharp albino or bow with caramel. And if you have another bow that's, you know, head for sharp or something, you know, like that, he has a, he has a very high chance of producing Sharp albinos. But because he's also Aztec, he's also going to produce Aztecs too. So you might get some sharp albino Aztecs as well. And with the anery gene, if you prove that out, that'd be pretty cool too. Because then you get some really insane snakes. Just finishing up, trying to get it nice and lubricated because it's so dry. Especially around the beginning part, because what I'm going to try to do is like, I'm going to try to do it right now with my nails. See if it will lift up the skin. What's odd is that this tail is really like, and I don't know what caused this. Maybe somebody can, if someone knows, you can leave a comment. But what's as odd is like it's really stuck to the skin. Alright, so I was able to get a little bit of the skin lift up. Got to make sure you do that from the bottom, too. See that? It's good to have nails. If you don't got no nails, I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to have to wait till the next shed. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to try to do is with my nails, I'm going to try to finesse and just keep, you know, all around and get this tail off. Get this dead skin off of him so he can display his true beauty. All 
All right, guys. It's coming along. The skin is just so tight on the skin. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not, you know, scraping hard. But, you know, the boas, they're pretty tough. They have a tough exterior, but they are sensitive in certain areas. And the reason why, when you see a male boa breed with a female, they use their spores. Just to show you what their spores look like. The spurs, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the spores. These are the spurs. See if this camera would get it. Anyway, guys, this is, it's not showing. They had these little claws, and they used that to scratch the female to make them move. The females are so, so, so responsive to that, which makes me assume that they're super sensitive. If you guys are interested in, you know, buying this boa, constricted, adding this boa to your collection. See, I've been breeding high techs for quite some time now. I've been dealing with boas for many years, and... I got a lot of, uh, you know, been working with the high tech, pro the Aztec project because I really like them. You know, I really like this pro the, 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 the pattern that it gives off and I just love their tail pattern. And then I like the fact that now I know that their tail pattern can get even longer like this guy. You see, that's crazy. So it'd be really cool to like complete the whole entire stripe. But that's I just love that, you know. And under the, under Aztec, they always have, like, if you look at regular bows, they don't have um, patterns under their tails, but this guy does. All, a lot of Aztecs have their patterns under their tail. He's been really good. I mean, he's trying to get away. This camera doesn't give him any justice, of course. You know, no camera really shows his true beauty, but you can kind of get an idea and see, like, the pinkish that he has along him. And, you know, you see the patterns. It's a really beautiful bow. It's just a beautiful face, everything. And he's very docile. Me doing all these things to him and trying to get the skin off of him. And he's just still very calm and hasn't hissed or strike at me or anything like that. So if you're looking for like a pet, this is definitely a, a, a option. Because if you got kids or anything like that, you definitely want to have somebody, a, a boa that's going to be nice and gentle. Not something that's going to be, you know, aggressive. You don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that. But the skin is almost coming off. We almost got it off, guys. Now, would I do this for a big boa? Yeah, I would. I've done it already. Um, but the only thing is, if it was this tedious, I probably wouldn't because <laughs> they, they're a lot stronger. So I probably wouldn't be able to get it to cooperate the way I want it to. Plus, I'm not trying to jeopardize getting bit by an adult boa. I can handle this, but an adult boa, I can handle it too, but I'm not trying it. I'm not trying to. I can avoid, if you can avoid being bit by a boa, by any means necessary, avoid that, John. But we are almost done. Yep. This is all coming off. See, now his tail's showing. Just got to come right here. And look, and it looks like, if you look right here, see, the reason why I'm doing this, because if you look carefully at the tail, it looks like, his last shed, it didn't come off on the tip of his tail. So now it's building up. Now we got two layers of skin right here. So I got to get this off. I don't know why he's having little difficulties with his tail, but we got to help that out. You know, all my other boys, they do fine. But for some reason, he having difficulties on his tail. Now I'm trying to hold him with a firm grip. But one thing you got to remember is don't try to hold him where his stomach is at or anything like that. Because as he's trying to, um, you know, as he's trying to pull away with the grip that I got, the what I was thinking about, I was like, it's like a toothpaste. I don't want to squeeze no doodle out of it or stool out of him. And then they say, you know, that don't come out. That's a nasty experience. Don't want that. So I'm trying to hold him where, where it's actually like his tail, his tail section. That's what I'm holding he is definitely strong, but I can feel him like he's tired of pulling. 
Buzz ain't got that much in doing. Oh, nope. I guess I was wrong. He's pulling really hard. I guess he don't like that when I do it under his tail. But I'm just curious to see what this tip of this tail going to be like. Because this part right here is like doubling layer up. Let's and honestly, this probably, this probably, I'm assuming this probably hurts him a little bit. But I got to get this tail up because can you imagine like what would happen if, if we just let that build up? Just a big callous tail. That's nasty. So we need to freshen up his tail. And he is pulling so hard that he's taking me away from the camera. But look, it's getting better, guys. Why did I use olive oil? <laughs> that, honestly, that was the first thing I thought about when I thought about lubrication. Just wanted to kind of like loosen up the skin and, you know, you don't want to do this when it's dry. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up there. Yeah, I'm going to clean up the bottom of his tail a little bit, but you kind of got an idea of what I did. Just wanted to show you that. Just wanted you guys to watch me do that. Hope you liked the video. If uh don't forget, just um, you know, check out my Exo Boa page on Instagram and on Facebook and definitely thumbs up and subscribe because I got a couple of litters that are coming in. They are coming. The boas are coming uh this season. I'm hopefully uh this summertime around May, June. I got some really nice boas coming, but I also got some nice boas right now for sale, so it's crazy. I mean, I've, I got one of these guys right here with the same exact stripe pattern, white. That's insane. And that's what you can produce. So you want to definitely consider this. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.